To avoid the possibility of exposing your eyes to ultraviolet radiation, turn the detector off while performing the following maintenance. To prevent contamination, use finger cots or powder-free latex gloves when touching the flow cell lenses or window. Take care to prevent scratching of the flow cell parts. Use a clean, non-particulating cloth or a similar clean surface to work on when removing, rebuilding, and replacing the flow cell. Turn the detector off and disconnect the power cord. Then pull the left front panel away to remove it. Using a 1 quarter inch flat blade screwdriver, loosen the three captive screws on the front of the flow cell assembly. Now, gently pull the flow cell assembly out to remove it. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the entrance lens screw. Rotate the flow cell so that the entrance lens is facing downward and give the flow cell body a light tap to remove the lens. Next, use the tweezers to remove the clear plastic gasket. Using the tweezers, remove the new gasket from the flow cell gasket rebuild kit and inspect it for cleanliness. Drop the new gasket into the groove at the bottom of the flow cell body. Inspect the entrance lens and use nitrogen to blow any dust off if necessary. Using tweezers, drop the entrance lens into the flow cell body with its curved side facing up. Make sure the outside diameter of the lens lies inside the counter bore of the flow cell body. With the tan colored side of the lens screw facing down, Use a torque wrench to tighten the entrance lens screw into the flow cell body to 128 inch ounces or 8 inch pounds. This will ensure that the entrance lens does not crack due to over tightening and a leak does not form due to under tightening. Position the notches on the flow cell cuvette lens end facing you. Then, using a tool that will not scratch the lens, remove the cuvette lens screw. Insert the cotton end of the lint-free swab into the cuvette end and remove the split ring and the cuvette lens. Next, use the screwdriver to remove the exit window screw. Using tweezers, pull the exit window from inside the flow cell body. Remove the clear plastic gasket. Using the tweezers, Remove the new gasket from the flow cell gasket rebuild kit and inspect it for cleanliness. Drop the new gasket into the groove at the bottom of the flow cell body. Be sure the gasket is inserted properly. Inspect the exit window for cleanliness. If necessary, use nitrogen to clean the exit window. Place the exit window into the flow cell body, making sure the outside diameter of the window lies inside the counter bore of the flow cell body. With the tan colored portion of the window screw facing the exit window, use the torque driver to tighten the exit window screw into the flow cell body to 128 inch ounces or 8 inch pounds. Be careful not to over tighten. Over tightening will crack the exit window, while under tightening will cause a leak. To ensure complete compression of the gaskets, both the entrance lens screw and exit window screw need to be tightened a second time. Flip the flow cell body over to the entrance lens side and tighten the entrance lens screw a second time to 128 inch ounces or 8 inch pounds. Flip the flow cell body over to the exit window side and tighten the exit window screw a second time to 128 inch ounces or 8 inch pounds. Next, with the cuvette lens curved side facing up, Replace the cuvette lens in the cuvette lens screw mount. Using your fingers, place the split ring onto the cuvette lens and press it firmly until it is flush on all sides. Screw the cuvette lens screw into the exit lens screw mount end of the flow cell body. Torque the cuvette lens screw to 128 inch ounces 
or 8 inch pounds. If using the optional cuvette, you will need to have it installed in the cuvette holder, as shown here, before placing the holder into the flow cell assembly. Insert the cuvette holder into the flow cell assembly. Insert the flow cell into the detector. Tighten the three captive screws to secure the flow cell in place. Then replace the left front panel onto the detector. 